This machine is designed to perform ditch clearing, and it's great at doing so because it has the ability to move through shallow waters. Even when it needs to go through submerged vegetation or other obstacles, it can still get its job done. The machine also showed potential in collecting trash, which is why it was used for this purpose, as you can see in the video. The Berkey Triton 550 has been a great tool at collecting trash in the Bacasai Canal and the Waduk Plute Lake. Thanks to it, trash cannot reach the ocean. A device called the RM85750 is used to clean the ballast tanks of tanker ships by removing sediment and other contaminants. This is a crucial job since silt accumulation in the ballast tanks can hinder the ship's stability and mobility and reduce its fuel efficiency. A tanker's vessel ballast tank can be reached by simply transporting the RM85750, a small and portable machine. It can be customized with numerous nozzles and accessories to clean various sorts of surfaces and blast dirt and debris away with high-pressure water jets. In order to make sure the machine is running securely and effectively, sensors and monitoring systems are also included. The next machine was built to help in the disposal of wood waste. This is the MUS Maxman TGS 540. Thanks to its maximum cutting diameter of 305mm and its ability to handle logs up to 30cm in length, this machine has been very efficient when it comes to performing its tasks. Aside from that, it also has a number of safety features like the load sensing hydraulic system and an emergency stop button to ensure that the operator and the people around it will be safe. It's also very easy to use, and its versatility can expand as the operator adds in attachments and to suit different applications. The CAT 836K compactor is a landfill compactor that features a CAT C18 engine, single lever steering, pressurized cab, and wheel and tip operations that provide extended service life. Thanks to its CAT locker differentials, this machine can now offer an improved operation and even smoother directional shifts. This machine also has features like the CAT Compact with pass mapping and optional CAT Compact with elevation mapping that helps boost the productivity of the operator as well as the whole site. On top of that, it also has an improved guarding brought by its an additional axle duo cone seal guards, eyebrow guards, and new reversing fan guard, hence having more protection for the machine to avoid wearing. The Placer and Thurer 0916 CAT is a track tamping machine designed for use in the maintenance of railway tracks. The track's ballast layer can be flattened and compacted by it, keeping the track level and stable. This machine boasts about its two single sleeper tamping units. This offers an optimum tamping vibration frequency of 35 Hz. Operators do not need to worry about its durability too since it has highly wear resistant tungsten carbide tamping tines. The machine has a strong hydraulic system that allows it to compact the ballast precisely, guaranteeing that the track is put back in the right shape and alignment. When it comes to development, construction, and innovation, one of the machines that have earned the trust of the many is the XCMG All-Terrain Crane. This crane is really impressive as it has intense lifting capacity and exceptional side adaptability. With a maximum lifting capacity of 1,000 tons and a maximum outreach of 90 meters, the XCA900LE is one of the largest and most powerful cranes in its class. A popular piece of heavy-duty construction machinery in the building and construction sector is the XLC30000 crawler crane. It's a particular kind of crane that can access places that conventional cranes cannot because it's built to move along the ground on tracks rather than on a fixed base. It has a strong hydraulic system that enables it to lift huge objects, like construction supplies, machinery, and even automobiles. It is extremely adaptable and useful for a variety of jobs, including the construction of big buildings, the installation of substantial steel beams, and the lifting of heavy gear. Additionally, it is employed in the oil and gas sector for jobs like erecting offshore platforms and maintaining pipelines. Concrete that is laid out in a thin layer and subsequently compacted with a roller is known as Roller Compacted Concrete RCC. This method can be used to reduce the quantity of workers and equipment needed during the construction process, as well as the amount of steel needed to build pavements and other structures. 
RCC's versatility in use, which includes employment in levees, retaining walls, and pavements, is one of its key advantages. Additionally, it is rapid and very simple to produce, which might assist in lowering the overall cost of construction. In addition to its useful features, RCC has a number of environmental advantages. It requires less energy to produce than traditional concrete, and it can also be made using locally sourced materials, which can help to reduce the carbon footprint of construction projects. The next machine is known to be the new generation K-series high-power skid steer loader of XCMG. This is the XC760K skid steer loader which boasts about its all-new large space cab and optimized ergonomic design that realizes high operation safety and comfort. This machine also features a maintenance-free sprocket wheel case as well as an easier accessibility for maintenance if other parts need it. The next device is known as the Kama 3 6560. An excavator is a tool used to empty a tank or container of liquids or gaskets. In this instance, the excavator is made to work with Kama's vehicles that need to have a tank or container emptied. The Kama 3 6560 excavator is made to put on the back of the truck and comes with a suction and discharge hose. The removal of liquids or gases from tanks or containers is a typical task in a number of industries, including oil and gas, chemical, and mining. A huge 6x6 truck called the Tatra T158 6x6 is produced by the Czech manufacturer Tatra. It's been manufactured since 1967 and was created as a heavy-duty vehicle. The T158 is renowned for its durability, dependability, and capacity to function in difficult circumstances. It's been employed for many different things, including as the movement of cargo, military activities, and even firefighting. The T158 features a diesel engine that can propel a payload of up to 18 tons. In spite of its age, it's still a well-liked option for heavy-duty applications in many countries. The 50-ton Century 1150 rotator from Miller Industries was created to meet the safety and heavy recovery requirements of towers. It has a three-stage recovery boom, a 360-degree continuous boom rotation, and optional deck and turret-mounted winches. The Raptor TM wireless proportional controls provide record controls and load sensing functions. Miller Industries is the top choice globally for recovery equipment designed for towers' needs and safety. The 1150 and 950 models have a patented roller system that can travel up to 60 inches and start and stop under heavy loads. The Komatsu PC600 is a small excavator with a maximum operational weight of 6,500 kilograms and a typical hydraulic system. With a 2,550mm boom and a 2,200mm stick, it can be used in a variety of applications. Due to its small size, it can operate in confined spaces and access places that bigger excavators could find difficult. Modern technologies like electronic hydraulic control, which increases efficiency and lowers fuel consumption, are included in the PC600. Whenever we see tasks that involve moving of rocks or big structures, we often see bulldozers getting used. Bulldozers are heavy construction machines that have large metal blades they call as the blade or dozer blades. The purpose of these blades are to move materials like soil, sand, rocks, or debris whenever they get raised, lowered, or tilted. On the other hand, anchor chains are a strong chain made especially for use with anchors on ships, boats, or other marine craft. It is an essential component for the anchoring system and is critical to the stability and security of a ship while it's moored or at anchor. What if we told you that bulldozers and anchor chains can also be used for other things? Would you believe me that these beasts can also be a helping hand when it comes to tasks in wooded terrain? For improved traction and stability, bulldozers frequently have strong engines and large tracks or tires. They have a powerful pushing force and are made to work in difficult terrain. Bulldozers are frequently employed in forestry, agricultural, mining, and construction applications. Bulldozers are driven by operators who sit in a cab above the rails or wheels. 
They control the motion of the machine and the position of the blade using joysticks, pedals, and other controls. Modern bulldozers might also be equipped with cutting-edge technology, such as automated functions and GPS systems for precise placement. The anchor chain's main purpose, meanwhile, is to join the anchor to the boat. The weight of the chain strengthens the anchor's holding ability by increasing the horizontal force applied to it and aiding in maintaining the anchor's appropriate alignment. The chain also serves as a shock absorber, easing the strain on the anchor and preventing jerks or unexpected jolts.
the Savannah Global Solutions is here for all of us. They're just one of the many companies who aim to assist on tasks that involve forestry, land clearing, and transformation operations, even up to highway and road constructions. They started their mission of providing a diverse land development product lineup in the year 1987 in Savannah, Georgia, USA, and Savannah Equipment PD LTD in Australia. They now have precision application systems that can be outfitted on bulldozers, forestry skidders, and four-wheel drive tractors. Their machines, products, and services offered are specifically designed to perform well in forestry and agricultural applications. The Savannah Global Solutions is known to be good partners when it comes to addressing challenging soil and site preparation needs. Thanks to their patented Savannah Stump Jump Hydraulic Relief System incorporated with their Savannah equipment including subsoil, bedding, one-way plows, offset discs, and road maintenance equipment, land clearing operations and even preparation for farming have never been so easy. They have ever since assisted in land clearing operations with their bulldozers. Two of their top machines for land clearing and transformation operations are the 900 series blade root plows and 1100 series chopper rollers. 900 series blade root plows. Heavy duty tools for clearing land and controlling vegetation are available under the Savannah 900 series blade root plows. These specialized plows are frequently used in the forestry, agricultural, and construction industries to clear soil, remove tree roots, and prepare areas for different reasons. The Savannah 900 series blade root plows are designed primarily to uproot trees and clear the land of weeds. These plows are designed with strong blades and strong hydraulic systems, allowing them to easily cut through heavy vegetation and roots. Large-scale land clearing initiatives benefit greatly from their ability to manage difficult terrain and dense vegetation. The Savannah 900 series flexibility is one of its standout qualities. Users can select the most appropriate model based on their unique requirements because these plows are available in a variety of sizes and combinations. Models in the range have often varied blade widths and attachment choices, allowing for flexibility for various applications and project sizes. The Savannah 900 series design places a strong emphasis on toughness and endurance. These plows are made of high quality materials and designed to survive harsh circumstances and continuous use. The blades are strengthened to withstand abrasion, ensuring life and lowering maintenance requirements. The Savannah 900 series blade root plows have more uses outside plowing soil. The level of soil disturbance during clearing can be managed by operators thanks to some models adjustable cutting depths. This is especially helpful when working on locations that need little ground disturbance or selective clearing. These plows can also be fitted with extra attachments to increase their functionality. For instance, some models can be equipped with rakes or grapples, allowing the plows to efficiently collect and transfer material. Because of its adaptability, the Savannah 900 series may be used for a variety of land management activities. Safety is one of the utmost importance when it's using the Savannah 900 series blade root plows. To ensure safe and efficient usage of the equipment, operators should get the necessary training and adhere to suggested rules. It is crucial to follow safety procedures, which include donning the proper personal protective equipment and performing routine maintenance inspections. Eleven hundred series chopper rollers. Chopper rollers from the Savannah Eleven Hundred series are known for being sturdy and strong agricultural machinery parts. These strong equipment is made for performing diverse forestry chores. Savannah choppers are meant to work in concert with these heavy-duty rollers. The Eleven Hundred series chopper rollers are designed to be straightforward yet incredibly powerful instruments. Bulldozer land clearing has a large impact on both biodiversity and climate change. 
Plant destruction lowers ecosystems' ability to take in and store carbon, which raises greenhouse gas emissions. This has a deleterious effect on biodiversity and exacerbates climate change. The extinction of plant species throws off sensitive ecological balances and makes it harder for wildlife to survive. Bulldozer land clearing also upsets the food chain and makes it more difficult for wildlife to survive by removing trees and other plants. Animals that depend on particular plants for protection or food risk being displaced and having less resources available to them. Additionally, the intricate ecological functions that intact ecosystems perform, like carbon sequestration, water filtration, and erosion control, are jeopardized. Bulldozer clearance may be useful for agricultural development, but it also has serious environmental consequences. Concerns about this approach include soil erosion, habitat loss, food chain disruptions, detrimental effects on biodiversity, and climate change. Consider alternate land clearance techniques that have a priority on reducing environmental disturbance in order to reduce these effects as much as possible. Striking a balance between human goals and environmental preservation will be made easier by putting into practice measures like reforestation, restoration efforts, and sustainable land management methods. Next, we have the CR Stone Dusting System. This unique machine is an underground mining safety system that discharges stone dust to prevent coal dust explosions. It was developed by CR Mining, an Australian company that specializes in underground mining technology. The CR Stone Dusting System consists of different stone dusters, including pneumatic, hydraulic, and bulk container systems, which can be used for various purposes, including long wall, belt road, travel road, and development panel dusting. The machine uses finely ground calcium carbonate as the stone dust material. It is simple to operate with a few moving parts and low maintenance needs. It can be attached to equipment or used as a portable device, depending on the requirements of the miners. Next, we have the CAT 16 GC. It is a 71,400 pound motor grader designed for mining operations, road building, and maintenance. It is powered by a 290 horsepower CAT C13 engine, offering proven performance and fuel economy. Its mold board size is 16 feet, allowing it to obtain the right grade quickly and effectively. The machine also incorporates an eco mode which controls the high engine idle speed to reduce fuel consumption. Thanks to its modular components, a central shift section, and an engine cage with full access, the 16GC motor grader is designed for simple serviceability. It is now available only in Africa, the Middle East, Asia, Eurasia, and Indonesia. Up next, we have the CAD D11XE. It is a brand new electric drive bulldozer that promises the utmost productivity and efficiency in mining operations. Its electric propulsion system provides constant power to the ground, continuous pressing, and enhanced maneuverability. The D11XE can cut fuel consumption by up to 25%, increase powertrain life by up to 20%, and minimize maintenance costs by having 60% fewer moving parts than mechanical drive versions. It is also integrated with CAT MindStar Command, 
a remote control and semi-autonomous dozing technology. Moreover, the D11XE is the world's largest, most powerful, and most efficient electric drive dozer with a high drive, 230 short tons of weight, 57 cubic yards of blade capacity, and 850 horsepower. Next, we have the Elphinstone Hallmax 3900 series. This series is based on versatile and robust trucks for mining operations. These trucks can transport cargo over long distances and traverse muddy and slick terrain. For stability and maneuverability, the Hallmax 3900 series has a narrow width of 9.8 feet and a low center of gravity, as well as a dual rear axle configuration. They incorporate a complete Caterpillar powertrain with 95% genuine CAT components for dependability and simple upkeep. For safety and comfort, they feature an independent front suspension system and independently mounted rear A-frame axle assemblies. The Hallmax 3900 series trucks can be tailored for various uses and can be used as low bed tow tractors, water trucks, and wet weather slash downhill hauling. Up next is the Alphinstone WR810 Water Cannon. This versatile machine is known as the Underground Water Cannon. It has a 2,113 gallon water reservoir and a monocoque chassis for enhanced stability. The machine discharges water at a pressure of approximately 150 psi and a velocity of 713 gallons per minute from its 1.5 inch nozzle. It can be remotely commanded by a wireless controller, allowing the operator to blow away material obstructions or sluice down mineral particles from a secure distance. Additionally, the machine has a particulate suppression system that can adjust water output based on vehicle speed, thereby minimizing environmental impact and enhancing working conditions. The WR810 also has a 228 horsepower CAT C7.1 ACERT engine and an effective electronic retarder for braking. The CAT HW300 it is a high-wall mining technology designed to extract coal from the bottom of an exposed high wall. It inserts a long beam behind the cutter head into the seam up to 1,000 feet from the high wall face. The coal is transported from inside by cutter head augers that are aligned with conveyors. 
This way of mining is safer than typical underground mining since no one is sent underground. Depending on seam height, the HW300 can produce 44 to 121,000 tons of coal per month. Next is the Joy Low Seam, which is a complete solution for high production, low wall mining. It offers a variety of cutting heights, accommodating seam heights ranging from 1.3 to 9 meters. Its armored face conveyors are equipped with OptiDrive technology for precise torque and speed control. Its roof support unit is strong enough to withstand 1,750 tons. These are installed for protection from accidental roof fall. Moreover, this system incorporates stage loaders, crushers, and movable belt tailpieces, providing an ultimate solution for long wall mining. Up next, we have the Sandvik DT923i. It is a fully automated tunneling jumbo used in mining to drill holes for controlled blast mining. It is equipped with two electrohydraulic booms that can automatically drill a full face. Its new SB110i booms give 62% bigger side coverage and good support for high power drilling. Thanks to its wide range of automatic drilling functions, its performance and precision have been well optimized. It also features comprehensive tools for drill planning, reporting, and analysis. Next is the TH551i, a 51-ton underground truck built to transport ores. The truck has an industry-leading cabin with enhanced operator ergonomics and several digital solutions for quick maintenance and troubleshooting. Its 515 kilowatt Tier 2 Volvo engine delivers minimal ownership costs and an extended lifespan. The truck comes with an intelligent control system, data collecting, and auto mine readiness. It can run fully loaded even at high speeds with a gradient of up to 20%.
Up next, we have the R1700XE, which is an electric-powered low loader. With its advanced charging technology, it's able to be fully charged in less than 20 minutes. Its payload capacity is 15 tons, and it can be equipped with five different types of buckets. Moreover, it features auto-dig for optimal loading. Containing the industry's most sophisticated hydraulic system, it's able to dramatically enhance its loading times. In short, the R1700XE offers tremendous performance, high uptime, and minimal operating cost. Last but not least, we have the G800B. It's a long wall plow system developed by Caterpillar. This machine consists of a face conveyor and a robust plow system equipped with cutting bits. The plow is pulled along a face conveyor from one end to the other. The coal is then extracted using a twin chain system of conveyors. No operator is required within the long wall face itself as all operation is controlled from a central control station. This system is used in seams ranging from 35 to 79 inches, regardless of the inclination or hardness of the coal. The CAD 7495 is a high-performance electric mining shovel made in two models. The 7495HR is a hard rock version, and the 7495HF is a high-float version used where low ground pressure is needed, such as oil sand excavation. Both models' shovels are capable of extracting 100 tons of material at a time and can load large mining trailers in two to three passes. The dipper capacity ranges from 27 to 61 cubic meters. These large dozers take power from an 1150 horsepower or 860 kilowatt engine and weigh at around 157 tons in its super dozer version. The machine itself is stunning as it is 16 feet tall, 41 feet long and built with a 24 foot wide dozer blade. It is massive and capable of handling 125 cubic yards of material in one pass. Clearly, it'll move any amount of material needed.
Today's industries are looking to streamline transport assignments and make them more sustainable. Therefore, considering self-driving vehicles is not a bad idea. That is why Scania is working on a cabless autonomous concept truck, requiring no driver at all. However, this isn't an electric truck. It actually has an internal combustion engine, but Scania is working on its renewable biofuel-powered variants. The modern ETF haul truck is capable of dragging four times more rocks than the typical giant yellow monstrous mining trucks. It is able to carry up to 400 tons in a single load. The truck is also even more robust thanks to the central tire inflation system. The machine always controls and adjusts each wheel's height to counteract road bumps. If the tire unexpectedly deflates, the machine will instantly warn the driver and raise the wheel to allow the driver to continue driving. the Liebherr LR13000. This is the world's most powerful crawler crane, offering a lifting capacity of 3300 US tons and a maximum hoisting height of 774 feet. Liebherr created it for heavyweight lifting operations. It has been used to put up more than 1500 pounds of heavy structures, such as power plant units, refinery structures, and industrial columns. It is also the only crane in its class that can be used without a derrick ballast. Winches with single drives provide fail-proof operation. In case of failure, a drive can be changed under load. Moreover, despite its massive size, the gigantic crane can be delivered at a minimal cost all over the globe. Also, it uses concrete ballast units that look like 20-inch containers and are easy and cheap to move. Up next, we have the Bucyrus Erie 257, aka Big King. This huge walking drag line has been operational since 1978. In terms of size, it stands 220 feet high, which is taller than a 20-story building and can operate in a radius of 300 feet, equal to the length of an American football field. The weight of this drag line is 10.4 million pounds and it features a 310-foot long boom equipped with a 100 cubic yard bucket. It has an over-under fair lead system that helps keep dirt out of the machinery house and makes the drag rope last longer. Unlike conventional walking drag lines, it was built in module sections, thus not requiring any welding to assemble, meaning its assembly takes only a few weeks, while others need months. Next, we have the 4800 XPC Komatsu. This ultra-class electric rope shovel was built for challenging environments. With its 92 cubic yard dipper, the shovel can fill a large dumper in just three passes. Its adaptive controls are designed to increase output while reducing boom jacking by up to 50%. It has a dynamic crowd design system that ensures fine motion control and high crowd forces to enhance penetration and reduce abrasive damage. 
to prevent a collision between the dipper and the tracks. Its shield system monitors the dipper's movement and mitigates damage as necessary. If you've been enjoying these giants so far, don't worry, there's even bigger ones coming up. The Bucyrus RH400 Terex Owen K RH400. You're now looking at the second largest hydraulic excavator in the world, which is 980 tons in weight. The first name of this behemoth was Terex RH400. It was introduced in Germany in 1997. However, Terex sold its mining business to Bucyrus in 2010, and the model's identity has changed to the Bucyrus RH400. The excavator can collect around 9,900 tons of material every hour, establishing a new world record for a hydraulic mining excavator. It features a phase shovel bucket capacity of 65 cubic yards, which can handle 85 tons of material in a single scoop and load any mining truck in just 3 to 5 passes. The RH400 draws power with twin engines that generate a combined power of 4,500 horsepower. It takes six vehicle batteries to just start the engines, with which this mighty excavator can travel at a top speed of 2.2 kilometers an hour. That's just about 1.4 miles an hour. Belaz is a Belarusian-based company known for producing large dump trucks. In fact, the world's largest dump truck belongs to this company, which is the Belaz 75710. It weighs 360 tons and has a payload capacity of 496 tons. According to estimates, the price of this truck is somewhere between 6 and 7.5 million USD. Belaz has introduced several models and series of such mining trucks, but all of them can be categorized into two types based on their transmission technology. The hydromechanical transmission uses fluid with a pump to run the wheel while the electromechanical transmission consists of electric motors that drive the truck. of the Bagger 293. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, this is the world's largest land-based vehicle. 
coming in at 315 feet tall, 740 feet long, and weighing over 31 million pounds. It was built in 1995 in Germany for mining operations. The Bagger 293 excavates using a massive 70-foot spinning wheel at the end of a long arm. This wheel is equipped with a series of buckets that, as the wheel turns, scoop up soil and deposit it onto a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt then loads the dirt into the dump trucks. Being the largest bucket excavator of its kind, the Bagger 293 can excavate a football-sized hole 80 meters deep in a day. In simple words, it can dig 8.5 million cubic feet per day and requires a crew of five to operate. Next, we have the Famer Road Header. This machine can cut through rocky terrain to produce tunnels for mining or other uses. It features a spinning cutting drum and a conveyor belt to remove the excavated material. Famer is a European company that manufactures multiple road header variants with varying technological features and benefits. Some of their models can handle extremely hard rocks with compressive strengths of up to 95 megapascals. These are simple to use, maintain, and transport. In addition, they include safety features and display control systems. These are used in work sites like mines, quarries, and landfills where rock cutting is necessary. Next, we have the Joymat SX. This machine is designed to extract coal from a long wall face. Kamatsu, a multinational producer of mining equipment, has manufactured it. The machine meets Tier 2 emission requirements and has a cutting height range of 1.5 to 4.5 meters. It weighs around 52 to 82 tons and offers a haulage pull capacity of 1,000 kilonewtons. Advanced automation, an ergonomic display control system, a modular design, and simple maintenance are some of its features. In addition, it has a high rate of production and operational dependability. The Joymat S6 shearer is ideal for underground coal mining environments. Last but certainly not least, we have the Slag Taurus from Technet Kira. The German company manufactures different transport systems for metallurgical and rail sectors. The Slag Taurus can carry 50 tons of molten slag from a blast furnace to a disposal location. It has articulated steering and a safety system that prevents overturning. There are also two design possibilities available, a platform or a U-frame. The minimal total width of the platform makes it suitable for small highways. The U-frame design provides excellent vision and short hydraulic lifts, 
making it suitable for broad roadways and low pickup heights. It is equipped with a Caterpillar engine and gearbox. It is robust and reliable, withstanding high temperatures and harsh conditions. The Remax 200. It is a track mounted impact crusher. Impact crushers use a rotating rotor to crush materials on a fixed surface, resulting in fragmentation. The Remax 200 provides exceptional performance and efficiency in applications involving recycling. It features a diesel electric powertrain system that decreases pollution and fuel consumption. It also has a disposal chute underneath the impact crusher which is crucial for dealing with construction and demolition debris. The Remax 200 has an intake hole of 25.6 by 37.4 inches and weighs 60,627 pounds. It has a throughput capacity of about 275 tons per hour. Next, we have the CAT HW300. It is a high-wall mining system that allows for both underground and surface mining. Depending on the seam height, it is capable of producing 44,000 to 121,000 tons of coal each month. The system comprises an underground-driven, unmanned cutter module that operates in front of the high wall. The cutter module is driven into the seam by a series of push beams, which also convey the extracted coal back to the entrance of the drive and onto a stack. The system has a comfortable climate-controlled pressurized cab that provides a comprehensive view of the mining activity and the high wall. As the coal seam fluctuates, the operator can manually adjust the machine function using an ampere measurement. Next, we have the Gunther and Zimmermann 7300. This trenching machine is designed to dig and create canals for irrigation or drainage. 
It features a large toothed metal wheel that revolves and cuts the earth into a trapezoidal shape. The dirt is subsequently transferred to the other bank of the canal by use of a conveyor belt. The machine can modify the canal's size and depth in response to the slope. It is powered by a diesel engine that complies with environmental regulations. The machine's tracks and leveling mechanism enable it to traverse uneven terrain. It has been built by a California-based company, Gunther & Zimmerman, and weighs around 95,000 pounds. Next is the Christoffel Fines Master Wash Plant. It is a fluid cleaning system capable of removing fine particles from sand and aggregates. It can process up to 120 tons of cleaned and dewatered material each hour. The wash plant includes a cyclone, dewatering screen, sump tank, and slurry pump. The cyclone separates particles from liquids and directs them to the dewatering screen. The screen eliminates excess moisture and generates a dry product. It also has an integrated control panel for operators to modify the water flow, pressure, and speed. In short, the wash plant is portable, compact, and simple to install and operate. the Christoffel Agwash. This modular washing system was built by a German company, C. Christoffel GmbH. It is capable of producing up to two classes of sand and removing clays, silt, and slimes from the feed material. The material is loaded into a feed hopper and then transported to a log washer, where it is washed to remove clays and other impurities. After passing through a rinsing screen, the material is cleaned and divided into various size fractions. Coarse aggregates are released onto a stockpile conveyor, while fine aggregates are bumped to a hydrocyclone machine for further classification into sand grades. The sand is then dehydrated using a high-frequency screen and stacked using radial conveyors.
Well, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed learning about these great machines. If you did, consider subscribing. We've got plenty of more machines that you can learn about. Just click here. And with that, we'll see you next time.